Imagine transforming your life through the simple yet profound practice of gratitude. What if the ancient wisdom of Stoicism could guide you in cultivating a deeper sense of appreciation and contentment? Today, we'll explore the power of Stoic gratitude practice and how it can enhance your well-being and perspective. Before we begin, consider subscribing and liking this video. Your support helps this channel thrive and keeps you connected to life-changing insights. Now, let's dive into the Stoic principles of gratitude and discover how this powerful practice can transform your life. Lesson 1. Embracing the Present Moment In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, we often forget to pause and appreciate the present moment. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, teaches us the profound impact of living in the now through the practice of gratitude. Imagine waking up each day with a deep appreciation for simply being alive. This practice shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have, fostering a sense of contentment and inner peace. The Stoics believe that by acknowledging the small blessings in our lives, we can cultivate a resilient and joyful spirit. Gratitude in its essence is an act of mindfulness. It invites us to notice the beauty in ordinary moments, the warmth of the sun, the taste of fresh bread, the sound of birds singing. By consciously recognizing these moments, we anchor ourselves in the present, reducing anxiety about the future and regrets about the past. This doesn't mean ignoring life's challenges, but rather approaching them with a balanced perspective. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus famously said, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. By practicing gratitude, we develop a mindset of abundance rather than scarcity, which can transform our outlook on life. Start your day with a moment of reflection, listing a few things you are grateful for. Over time, this simple practice can rewire your brain, making gratitude a natural and effortless part of your daily routine. Embrace the present and let gratitude be the compass that guides you through life's journey. Lesson 2. Gratitude for Adversity Gratitude often seems most accessible when life is smooth and circumstances are favorable. However, the true power of Stoic gratitude shines brightest in the face of adversity. The Stoics taught that every challenge, obstacle, and hardship we encounter is an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. When we face difficulties, we are given a chance to practice resilience, patience, and wisdom. This perspective encourages us to be thankful, not just for our successes and joys, but also for our struggles and setbacks. By embracing this mindset, we can transform our relationship with adversity. Instead of seeing challenges as threats, we begin to view them as valuable teachers. This shift in perspective allows us to maintain inner peace and stability, even in the most turbulent times. Consider the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca. A gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. By appreciating the lessons embedded in our difficulties, we cultivate a deeper sense of gratitude and strength. Start by reflecting on a recent challenge and identifying what it taught you. Did it make you more patient, resourceful, or compassionate? By recognizing the hidden gifts within our struggles, we can navigate life's storms with a grateful heart, knowing that each experience, no matter how difficult, contributes to our growth and understanding. Lesson 3. Practicing Voluntary Discomfort One of the most intriguing practices of Stoicism is the concept of voluntary discomfort. This practice involves intentionally stepping out of our comfort zones and experiencing mild discomfort to build resilience and appreciation for what we have. By doing so, we not only prepare ourselves for future adversities, but also deepen our sense of gratitude for the comforts we often take for granted. For instance, fasting for a day can make us appreciate our daily meals more profoundly, while spending a night sleeping on the floor can heighten our gratitude for a comfortable bed. The Stoics believe that by exposing ourselves to controlled hardships, we can develop a stronger, more adaptable mindset. This practice helps us realize how little we truly need to be content and how much we already possess. It breaks the cycle of constant craving and dissatisfaction, fostering a mindset of sufficiency and contentment. The philosopher Musonius Rufus advocated for such exercises, stating that they help us become less dependent on external comforts and more resilient in the face of life's unpredictabilities. Try incorporating small acts of voluntary discomfort into your routine. 
whether it's taking a cold shower, walking instead of driving, or abstaining from a favorite treat. These practices will not only toughen your spirit, but also enhance your gratitude for the everyday luxuries you might otherwise overlook. Embrace discomfort as a tool for growth and gratitude, and watch how it transforms your perspective on life. Lesson 4. Cultivating Gratitude Through Journaling One of the most effective tools for developing a consistent gratitude practice is journaling. The Stoics, including Marcus Aurelius, were avid practitioners of daily reflection through writing. By setting aside time each day to write down what you are grateful for, you create a tangible record of positivity and appreciation. This practice not only reinforces positive thinking, but also provides a powerful reminder of the good in your life during challenging times. Start your journaling practice by dedicating a few minutes each morning or evening to reflect on the day's events. Write down three things you are grateful for, no matter how small. It could be a kind gesture from a stranger, a delicious meal, or a moment of laughter with a friend. Over time, this practice helps train your mind to focus on the positives, making gratitude a habitual part of your daily life. Additionally, reviewing your gratitude journal periodically can offer a comforting perspective on your journey and growth. The act of writing also deepens your reflections, helping you to connect more profoundly with your feelings of gratitude. As Marcus Aurelius wrote in his meditations, when you arise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love. Let your journal be a sanctuary of gratitude a place where you can continually cultivate a thankful heart. By consistently practicing gratitude through journaling, you will foster a mindset that seeks out and appreciates the beauty and goodness in every day. Lesson 5. Expressing Gratitude to Others While internal gratitude is powerful, expressing gratitude to others can amplify its benefits. The Stoics emphasized the importance of recognizing and appreciating the contributions and kindnesses of those around us. By expressing our gratitude, we not only strengthen our relationships, but also create a positive ripple effect that can influence our communities and environments. Saying thank you or writing a heartfelt note can have a profound impact on both the giver and the receiver. This simple act of acknowledgement fosters a sense of connection and mutual respect. When we express gratitude, we reinforce positive behaviors and encourage a culture of appreciation. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus advised, he who receives a benefit should never forget it. He who bestows should never remember it. This wisdom highlights the importance of being mindful of the kindness we receive and expressing our appreciation generously. Make it a habit to thank those who contribute to your life, whether through small acts of kindness or significant support. Take time to reflect on the people who have made a difference in your day and let them know how much you value their efforts. By cultivating an attitude of gratitude and expressing it openly, you not only enhance your own well-being, but also contribute to a more compassionate and appreciative world. Lesson 6. Finding Gratitude in Simplicity In a world that often equates happiness with material wealth and status, the Stoic practice of finding gratitude in simplicity offers a refreshing perspective. The Stoics taught that true contentment comes not from external possessions, but from appreciating the simple, often overlooked aspects of life. This practice encourages us to strip away unnecessary desires and focus on what truly matters. By embracing simplicity, we can cultivate a profound sense of gratitude for the basics that sustain us. Consider the joy of a quiet morning, the pleasure of a good book, or the peace found in nature. These simple experiences, often taken for granted, hold immense potential for gratitude. The Stoic philosopher Seneca wrote, it is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. This insight reminds us that by reducing our wants and appreciating what we already have, we can achieve a richer and more fulfilling life. Practice finding joy and simplicity by decluttering your surroundings, simplifying your routines, and savoring the present moment. Focus on the quality of your experiences rather than the quantity of your possessions. As you learn to find gratitude in the simple things, you will discover a deeper, more sustainable sense of happiness and contentment that transcends material wealth and societal expectations.
Lesson 7. Reflecting on Mortality to Enhance Gratitude A core tenet of Stoic philosophy is the contemplation of mortality, known as memento mori. While this might seem morbid, reflecting on our finite existence can profoundly enhance our gratitude for life. The awareness of our limited time on Earth encourages us to appreciate each moment and prioritize what truly matters. When we acknowledge the impermanence of life, we are more likely to savor our experiences and value our relationships. This practice shifts our focus from mundane concerns to the present moment's preciousness. The Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius often reflected on the brevity of life in his writings, urging us to live fully and gratefully. He wrote, you could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. By embracing this perspective, we can let go of trivial anxieties and immerse ourselves in the richness of the present. Reflecting on mortality can also help us cultivate a sense of urgency and purpose. It reminds us to express love, seek meaningful experiences, and live in alignment with our values. Incorporate the practice of memento mori into your daily routine by taking a few moments each day to reflect on the fleeting nature of life. Let this awareness deepen your gratitude for the time you have and inspire you to make the most of every moment. By acknowledging our mortality, we can unlock a deeper appreciation for the beauty and fragility of life, leading to a more mindful and grateful existence. Lesson 8. Practicing Gratitude in Relationships Relationships are a cornerstone of our lives, providing support, companionship, and growth. However, it's easy to take the people closest to us for granted. The Stoics emphasize the importance of recognizing and appreciating the value of our relationships. By practicing gratitude within our personal connections, we can strengthen our bonds and create a more harmonious and fulfilling life. Start by acknowledging the positive qualities and actions of those around you. Express your appreciation verbally or through small gestures, like a heartfelt note or an unexpected act of kindness. This practice not only makes others feel valued, but also fosters a deeper sense of connection and mutual respect. The Stoic philosopher Seneca advised, let us give thanks to the gods that no man can hinder us from living according to nature, but let us give thanks also to those who have helped us on our way. By focusing on the contributions of others and expressing our gratitude, we can build a more supportive and loving community. Reflect on the impact of your relationships and take time to nurture them with gratitude and appreciation. This mindful approach can transform your interactions, leading to more meaningful and lasting connections. Lesson 9. Transforming Negative Thoughts with Gratitude Negative thoughts and emotions are a natural part of the human experience, but they can often overshadow our sense of gratitude and well-being. The Stoics believed in the power of cognitive reframing transforming negative thoughts into positive ones through conscious effort. Gratitude is a powerful tool in this process. When faced with negativity, we can choose to shift our focus to the things we are grateful for, thereby altering our perspective and emotional state. For example, if you're feeling frustrated by a setback, try to identify something positive that emerged from the situation, such as a lesson learned or a new opportunity. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus taught that men are disturbed not by things, but by the view they take of them. By practicing gratitude, we can change our view and reduce the impact of negative thoughts. Create a habit of countering negative thoughts with gratitude by keeping a list of things you're thankful for and refer to it whenever you feel down. This practice helps rewire your brain to focus on the positive, fostering resilience and emotional well-being. Over time, gratitude can become a natural response to adversity, transforming how you perceive and react to challenges. Lesson 10. The Ripple Effect of Gratitude Gratitude is not just a personal practice. It has the potential to create a positive ripple effect that extends far beyond ourselves. When we practice gratitude, we inspire those around us to do the same, fostering a culture of appreciation and kindness. This ripple effect can transform our families, workplaces, and communities, creating an environment where positivity and mutual respect thrive. The Stoics understood that our actions and attitudes influence those around us. By embodying gratitude, we can become a source of inspiration and encouragement. Consider the impact of a simple thank you in your daily interactions. 
These small acts of appreciation can brighten someone's day and encourage them to pass on the kindness. The philosopher Marcus Aurelius reflected on the interconnectedness of human beings, reminding us that what affects one directly affects all indirectly. By practicing gratitude, we contribute to a more compassionate and supportive world. Make a conscious effort to spread gratitude in your interactions, whether it's through compliments, acts of kindness, or simply being present and attentive. As you do so, observe how your gratitude influences others and creates a positive cycle of appreciation. By embracing the ripple effect of gratitude, we can collectively build a more connected and grateful society where every act of appreciation contributes to a larger wave of positivity. As we draw this journey of stoic gratitude to a close, remember that the true power of gratitude lies not just in understanding its principles, but in integrating them into your daily life. Think about the lessons we've explored and how they can transform your perspective, your relationships, and your overall well-being. Now here's a question for you. What is one unexpected thing you are grateful for today? Share your answer in the comments below. Your insights might just inspire someone else on their own journey. Don't forget to like this video if you found it valuable, and make sure to subscribe for more content on stoicism and personal growth. Your engagement helps us build a community of like-minded individuals who are passionate about living a mindful and grateful life. Thanks for watching, and remember, gratitude is a practice. One that starts right here, right now, with you.